Welcome everyone to uh, MATLAB tutorial uh, for process control analysis design and assessment. In this tutorial, uh, we look at uh, MATLAB implementation of uh, model predictive controller. Just as an introduction, I will uh, uh, give the formulation of MPC and I will di directly go to the uh, code section of uh, MATLAB and then uh, uh, show you how, how to uh, code um, implement model predictive controller and how uh, we can uh, uh, tune the model predictive controller in order to get the performance we require uh, and so on. So, uh, the model predictive controller is uh, a controller which solves an optimization problem online. Uh, so, the optimization problem is formulated such that uh, the model predictive controller uses model and uh, it can be easily solved. Most of the time we uh, uh, solve a, a quadratic program op optimization. It computes optimal input moves uh, which, uh, which is optimal in the sense of the objective function we have chosen. And since this is an optimization problem, we, uh, it can handle uh, constraints easily uh, and it is easily extendable to MIMO systems. Uh, the example I am going to show here is for CISO system, uh, uh, but uh, the uh, implementation is not restricted to C CISO system, it can be extended to MIMO system, only that uh, we will have to look at how the uh, structure of each uh, uh, term in the objective function and the uh, prediction oriented terms uh, are in MIMO systems mm, and uh, MPC is also computationally time consuming. Uh, but uh, the examples which I am going to show here will be fast enough, but if we have more uh, inputs and uh, mo more outputs for example, like uh, uh, 25 cross 20 system where we have 25 outputs and we have 20 uh, inputs, then such systems will require more uh, computational time in order to get the optimal, it in order to calculate the optimal solution for the optimization. Now this is the formulation where uh, we minimize the objective function where y set point minus y hat of k plus i whole square and there is a uh, minimum move uh, objective uh, uh, added to the deviation from set point. Now the y hat of k plus i is computed as uh, an impulse response, uh, finite impulse response model with gamma coefficients and uh, we have the constraint that u of k plus i equals to u of k plus m minus 1 where i is m to p. So, what we are essentially saying is uh, though we have uh, gamma elements of u to uh, optimize, we choose to optimize only m elements and on top of it we have limit constraints on u uh, for all time instants which is from 1 to m. Notice that I have not specified what p is and what m is and neither have I specified the limits. So, these will depend on individual, uh, uh, these will depend on individual applications and uh, we may have to modify them to suit to get a better performance. Look at how we can compute and make the computation easier for us to implement it in MATLAB. So, we are computing summation i equals to 1 to p y of k plus i reference minus y hat of k plus i whole square. So, we need to compute y of k plus i y hat of k plus i as a function of h 1 to h gamma. So, we have h 1 u of k plus h 2 u of k minus 1 
all the way up to h gamma u of k minus gamma plus 1. Now, uh, in this optimization function we have minimize u, this u is constructed such that it has u k, u k plus 1 all the way up to u k plus m minus 1. So, these are the unknowns which we which we have to optimize. So, this u k is unknown whereas, the rest of the terms are known. So, this essentially uh, evaluates to a constant uh, and the next term y of k plus 2 will be h 1 times u of k plus 1 plus h 2 times u of k plus all the way up to h gamma times u of k, k minus gamma plus 2. So, this will continue up to y hat of k plus m minus 1, which is h 1 times u of k plus m minus 2 all the way up to h gamma times u of k minus gamma uh, plus m minus 1 and y hat of k minus 1 k, k plus m is h 1 times u of k plus m minus 1 all the way. Similarly, we will have y hat of k plus m plus 1 is here is where we use the constraint that u of k plus m equals to u of k plus m minus 1. Because of that we will have h 1 plus h 2 times u of k plus m minus 1 plus all the way. So, finally, we will have y hat of k plus p which is h 1 to h uh, into u, u of k plus m minus 1 and etcetera. So, we can notice the general structure where we have h 1, h 2, h 1, h 3, h 2, h 1 like this times u plus some known matrix which we can formulate. We will look at uh, MPC implementation in MATLAB. Uh, uh, shown here is the code which implements an MPC for a CISO system. Uh, first, I have declared the system here as a transfer function with uh, 3s plus 1 divided by 2s square plus 5s plus 1 as the transfer function. And uh, I have discretized the system using a, a sampling time of 1, one second. So, the T s equal to 1 impl implies that I have sampled the system once for 1 second and I have computed the impulse coefficient using the inbuilt function impulse. Now, in the next section I have declared the model. Um, so, uh, as a start we will start with the same system as the model and see how uh, the performance is then we will uh, look at uh, introducing plant model mismatch and see how the MPC performs. So, I will just comment the this line also. Then I move on to controller specification where I specify uh, the length of the simulation as 100 seconds and we, def, uh, we initialize the output parameters y and u. Then I move on to uh, tuning parameters which we can change uh, uh, based on the requirement. So, the tune dot p is the prediction horizon, tune dot m is the control horizon, t s is again sampling time, bias and bias c are bias correction uh, parameters. Uh, we will start with them off now and we will see how they affect the controller performance later. Uh, lambda is the uh, multi multiplier used for uh, weighting the objectives which is uh, 
deviation from set point square plus uh, minimum move. So, uh, this objective option uh, helps us decide which, ob which objective to be optimized uh, in the MPC formulation. Now, the uh, then I have specified the lower and upper limits for input, um, which I have specified as minus 0.5 to 10. Then I declare reference trajectory, uh, which is a set point as of now as 2.5 and I declare such some internal variables. Now, because uh, we are using linear time invariant models, the uh, ma uh, ma matrices multiplying uh, the decision variables u k to u k plus m minus 1 and the uh, constant matrix are uh, time invariant. Because of that, I pre-compute those matrices called T and S in, the, in this section and I store it in the uh, structure tune. These are done uh, a priori so that the com computation time is reduced. Now, run MPC is the function which runs uh, the optimization for one iteration and provides solution from u k plus k plus u k to u k plus m minus 1 and those values are stored in the variable u of which we will just select the first uh, few uh, first input variable first time instant input variables and apply it to the system. Notice that I have computed y predicted as well as y actual using uh, model and system coefficients. This is to generalize the case where we have planned model mismatch. So, in, in case of planned model mismatch, predicted y and the actual y will be different. So, we will have to correct for that bias in a, uh, in a real time fashion. So, that has to be updated in the uh, MPC formulation. So, in order to do, do that, I have computed both predicted y and the actual y. Uh, the final section of the code consists of plotting uh, the results and uh, correspondingly, I have named the uh, trajectories and given labels for y, x and title. Uh, Let us look at how run MPC is configured so that we are uh, sure about the coding. So, here uh, you can see the run MPC function, uh, it takes reference y the model uh, parameter yeah, as model, tune uh, uh, structure as tune, op is the uh, previous iteration, uh, previous time instant input variables. Uh, these are used to compute the constant which is uh, uh, part of uh, MPC uh, formulation and the u naught is the initial, condi initial condition or initial guess for the optimization. In the first two lines, I have uh, uh, created a matrix containing the input lower limit and upper limits. Uh, repeated m times. In order to do that, I have used uh, MATLAB function repmat. And I have also given a provision for specifying terminal constraint, which is y of k plus p equals to uh, y set point, which we will do in, the, in a later case. So, now we will be running this case where we have no constraints other than limits. Now, this MPC objective function computes the MPC objective, which is uh, y minus y set point whole square times whole square summation of y minus y set point whole square for uh, i equals to k plus 1 to k plus p. And similarly, we have uh, summation uh, u of k plus i whole square, where i runs from uh, 0 to m minus 1. So, that is calculated here, 
the in order to compute y p we use that uh, the, the matrices which we computed as t and s here t times u, u is the uh, decision variables containing u of k to u of k plus m minus 1 and the op is the variable containing previous iteration u values. So, we will have y p as a uh, vector of uh, uh, p uh, output variables and then uh, we update the bias here by uh, um, uh, constructing a vector of uh, p uh, values repeated either as zeros or using the constant which is computed in the previous iteration. Then we have two cases where uh, in one case we do not have this uh, uh, summation u, u of k plus i whole square and in, in the other case where we have summation u of uh, k plus i whole square. The effect of this will be uh, uh, easily seen later. Let us uh, move on and run the code. So, this is the function that has to be uh, sorry this is the script we have to run in order to uh, imp uh, see the performance of MPC. Let us run it. So, now you can see that the uh, system reaches the set point fairly quickly within say uh, 10 to 15 seconds. We can zoom in and see. So, around 15 seconds it reaches 2.5 and stays there uh, and notice the input variation it starts from 3.3 goes down to 2.5. So, it has 0.8 as the variation. Now, uh, without closing this uh, wi window, I am going to just change the type of objective which we have used. So, this the objective we have used did not have the summation of u square. So, if, uh, if we just change the objective, how will the system perform? is what we are going to look at now. Now, you can see that uh, initially the whole uh, uh, variation was around 3.3 .3 to 2.8 which was 0.5 and here also it is similar, but the output since uh, the initial uh, initial input is 3.3 .3 at that time, the output was able to reach 2.5, but since we have minimal variation in the uh, input as a objective, uh, there is a bias in the performance. So, we can tune that by tuning this lambda, uh, we will put minimal weight to the second term which is uh, summation u square, let us see how that works. Now, you can see the response actually reached the set point and the variation is like 3.3 .3 to 2.5 which was the previous variation also. Now, let us uh, look at introducing mo model mis plan model mismatch and how the system performs. I will just change the second parameter to say 0.1323. So, what we are saying is uh, all the parameters other than model uh, second term in the model is estimated properly. This particular coefficient is estimated in a wrong way. So, if, if we do that without the bias correction, how will the performance be? Now, you can see we have oscillatory performance. This oscillation is because of the constraint which is being uh, 
uh, forced in the object uh, optimization function. You can see that it becomes minus 0.5 for uh, 2 seconds and then it uh, goes back. So, this is the reason why uh, the response is oscillatory. If you were uh, the actual uh, model function of the second constant has the value of uh, 0.6. Point six three two three. So, when the model is changed by the second coefficient is changed by 0.5, we have oscillatory response. We can change this to say 0.3323, uh, where with uh, we will have smaller variation than the previous case. We will have a uh, fairly stable response. You can see that. Uh, this green curve goes to sta stable uh, and it reaches the set point. But if we zoom in, we can sorry. If we zoom in, so you can see that the green curve has a deviation from 2.5. Let us close this and we will turn on the bias correction and see how this works. So, we have like uh, point 0.1 sorry point zero 0.015 as the bias, it is still not uh, reaching the set point. So, we will have to tune depending on uh, how different the model is. Uh, the other way of eliminating this plan model mismatch is to uh, add filters like Kalman filters which uh, which uh, estimates the uh, uh, states uh, online using measurements. So, uh, we can tune the uh, filter to have optimal performance and then uh, we can uh, couple the filter implementation along with MPC, so that we will have uh, better control. Uh, next, next let us look at when the reference trajectory is changing, how the system will respond. So, we will uh, change the re reference trajectory as a uh, first order uh, um, response, first order uh, response with some time constant as 5. 5 seconds and we will use the same model as the system and see how the system responds. So, the idea is uh, we, uh, we are not restricted to using a single set point, we can give a reference trajectory which is a function of time and we can still control the system fairly uh, uh, easily. So, you can see that the Control, uh, reference trajectory is a uh, first order response and the system was able to reach the trajectory. We can try uh, changing uh, m which I have put it as 1, let us put it as 3, so that we will have uh, more room for optimization. So, in that case uh, the variation will become uh, smoother and e uh, easier compared to the case where it is 1. So, the orange curve is the uh, new curve which uses uh, one set point and the corresponding curve is here. So, you can see that it is kind of uh, smooth. We can uh, increase the 
of uh, prediction horizon together with control horizon to get a better uh, performance. So, in that case we will um, so, sorry uh, let us see here. So, in that case we will get uh, easier uh, better approximations and hence we will get better control. Now, uh, we have looked at MPC implementation in MATLAB. Uh, we can do uh, uh, other customizations like we can add weights to different elements present in uh, this as well as this. Uh, so, that will uh, uh, advise the optimizer to put more weightage towards that prediction or less weightage towards that prediction. So, uh, we already have a tuning parameter lambda multiplying this. So, based on which we uh, uh, we advise the optimizer to weight this uh, the second term such that the first term is either more weight uh, given more weightage or given less weightage. Uh, we can uh, uh, also add other constraints like uh, y of k plus i lying between y of uh, upper limit to y of lower limit sorry y of lower limit to upper limit. Now, uh, this constraints uh, uh, may, may be uh, this these constraints may not be achievable because uh, we assume the system to be uh, uh, linear and uh, uh, finite impulse response system. So, there are ma plan model mismatches because of that we may not exactly match this constraints, but we can uh, give some room for the constraint uh, to be relaxed, so that we can still get a feasible solution. So, uh, adding this constraint which is on uh, output uh, limits will uh, may lead to feasibility problems. Uh, and we can add other constraints like delta u being within some delta u limits and uh, other constraints called coincidence point which will uh, help us reach the set point faster by means of specifying y hat of k plus i to be equal to some y reference of k plus i. But uh, remember this is also an output constraint because of that we may have a problem of feasibility. The terminal constraint which is y hat of k plus p equal to y ref of k plus p is uh, easy to implement and it also stabilizes the uh, controller. So, uh, we may we, we would not have oscillatory response with this, contr uh, this con uh, constraint present. So, MPC formulation um, is not just restricted to CISO systems, we can always use uh, or extend this to MIMO systems. In that case the H 1 matrix H 1 will become a matrix. So, we will have H 1 1, H 1 2 all the way up to H1m uh, and Hn1 all the way up to Hnm. So, similarly we will have for each coefficient like this. Uh, so, uh, it can be easily extended for MIMO systems. We can as well use nonlinear model to predict y, y hat of k plus i, but the problem is if we are to use nonlinear model uh, the optimization becomes nonlinear optimization. Uh, so, we may end up with uh, local optimum rather than uh, global optimum, which is what we get in this uh, 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 by solving this optimization function. Um, so, like uh, the uh, MPC formulation by itself does not specify which type of model to use, other than that. Uh, uh, if we were to if we have to solve optimization problem uh, in a quadratic 
programming uh, framework are using linear programming principles, the model has to be linear. Other than that, there is no specification of how, uh, which type of model to use for prediction. So, we can use any type of model for prediction, we can add constraints on both u's, y's, delta u's and other, uh, other such constraints which may occur and we can as well customize the objective function based on uh, uh, minimizing u square or minimizing uh, delta u square, uh, minimizing time, etcetera. Uh, so, the MPC framework by itself is uh, uh, flexible enough, but it has to be customized and uh, each uh, constraint we add may, uh, uh, each equality constraint we, uh, we add and each output constraints we add may uh, make the optimization uh, infeasible. So, the stability and feasibility of this MPC framework has to be theoretically proved. Uh, so, uh, like this we can implement uh, MPC in MATLAB. Uh, there is also a toolbox called MPC toolbox in MATLAB which is uh, very uh, uh, easy, easy to learn at the same time it will be, uh, uh, it, it will have more diagnostic facilities and uh, other uh, options. So, uh, I have uh, shown here the traditional way of uh, coding the MPC by hand and implementing it for a, any uh, system. So, uh, with this I finish MPC tutorial.